Okay guys, welcome back to the Mushroom Hunter. We found some pines. I've been looking for years. They're back. Look at this. Beautiful one right here. Right there, hiding in the dirt. And then another one. They usually grow in lines, so check out a line. This is a nice big one right there. And then you see that little mess in the needles? That's a pine under there too. So check the perimeter, because you know they grow like any kind of mushroom, a linear type fashion. Once you're on them, keep looking in the area and feel the ground like this in between those things, because sometimes you'll be able to feel the smaller ones and they feel kind of not like a hard like a rock, but a little bit spongy. If you find one, just push on it a little bit and you'll know what I'm talking about, okay? Let's go find some more. Check these ones out. I saw just that disturbance in the needles. Look, and there's two there. And how you pop them out, you can just wiggle the tops like this or grab around the stem, do a circular motion, and you can usually pop them out without causing too much disturbance of the mycelia, just like that. <clears throat> and then you just grab down at the bottom, wiggle a bit, wiggle a bit, and it just comes loose, and then it pops out like, just like that. Look at that, grown in that old uh, stump material. Okay, let's keep going. Beautiful mushrooms. And look at this. Right on the edge of the woods here, there's an opening. Oh, and I got down on my knees and I'm seeing even more. So there's one right in here. I think this might be one, because see how it's lifted up. And then this could be one too. See how it's a little soft? See when I move it? It's not like a rock, it's actually moving. Can you see that? Might be one. Let's see. No, that's a rock. But then, if you look over there, that little black spot, that's one under there. See how it lifts up the edge? So, <coughs> oh, and there's probably one on the other side. You see how it's lifted up on the other side? So let's go ahead, pick these ones, get back to it. Oh yeah, pine mushroom, matsutake. I love them. Okay, let's get them. I want to show you how subtle this can be. See this little crack in the ground and fresh wood sticking up? That's sometimes all you need to let you know that there's probably a mushroom under there. Let's check. Oh, see that? Look at that. Mushroom. Pine mushroom hiding under there. But that's how they let you know. Just little tiny changes in the surface. And that's all you need. That to, to cue you off. So when you're in the area, pay real close attention or you'll miss those guys just popping out of the, the soil a little bit with a little crack. And then I saw a little bump here. Let's check under here. Nope. 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 Just one. Then close up the hole after you're done. Protect that mycelia under there. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm in an area where someone picked yesterday because I see lots of mushrooms tipped over and stuff, but I'm still finding a lot. And the key is, look closely. Like, people miss these ones. See this? Hiding right under here. Look at that. See? Mushroom. And then when you find one, look really closely in the area, the surrounding area, because... Like I said, there might be more just hiding below the moss and all you'll see is a little bump. And you don't know unless you feel like this. You just feel and feel those little bumps in the line. If you see any more and test them out, you might catch more pines just like that. Okay, let's go get some more. Okay, this is what I mean by checking the surrounding area. I just found those last two just right over there. So I just walked around this tree, do like the circle. I came here. And I see some odd things. Can you see some odd things? See that? Odd thing number one. Odd thing number two. Odd thing number three. That's kind of odd. And then see those, how the log, it's like the moss is flat. And all of a sudden it comes up there. It's flat. There's a hole. And then boom. The, the mushroom, pine mushrooms sometimes like to grow against logs like that. So I'm guessing... There might be some along the edge of that log. So let's go check out. Let's start here. When you're walking up to the area, feel first. I'm going to check this one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See that whiteness. 
Oh yeah, let's check this bump. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Looky there. Looky there. Oh, look at more. Look at those. See what I mean? Oh, look, another one. Do they keep going? I don't know, we'll check the other side of the log. And then look at this. Look at this. Another one. Another one. Is there any other ones there? And guess what? This is the first bump that tipped me up. Most people wouldn't even realize that. See that? Look at that. <laughs> Just barely hit out of sight. Got to look for those bumps. Okay, so more on these odd bumps. See this little nice little hill right here? <clears throat> look at that. Pine mushroom. And it looks like and it's hard to see in the video, but there's a little lump right here, and they usually grow in a line, and since it's a rock, the mycelium would hit the rock, and that'd be it. So I'm going to take a peek under here. Whoa! Look at that. Some buttons. Some little buttons. See that? Nice little buttons. <clears throat> These ones, looks like their development kind of stopped. They're going bad, so I'll just pick them. Anyway. They're getting sl slimy, these ones. <clears throat> Let's pick this one. Look at that. Pine mushroom. Now you always verify them by smelling them and because there's some look-alikes that aren't pines and they look pretty similar I found a few but they don't smell like anything and these ones have a nice aroma always kind of cinnamon like they actually have a spicy smell to them so if your mushroom doesn't smell like anything it's probably not a pine and then you gotta love it when they're just too easy to find like this poking out of the ground big time there I see a couple more bumps around here so I'll check out all those bumps. I see bumps all over the place. So make sure you check all those bumps out. I just love this, guys. Looking for pine mushrooms. I've been looking 2016, 2017. I didn't find a one. Now 2018 is here. Lots of rain. Temperatures are favorable. And they're popping up all over the place where I found them in 2015. Now I'm in kind of like a rocky, mossy, needly area with some old growth forest and I'm right beside a clear cut area and uh, it seems like they like to be along that edge but they are spread out through throughout this forest you can kind of see older trees they're not huge since it's a real rocky ground and uh, pine trees and kind of open canopy like that so some light penetration seems to help this is like a later uh, developing area because it's lower elevation and because it's usually warmer so if they're developing here they're probably done up higher but if they're not here when you come to luck down lower you should go up higher that's how it seems to work okay beautiful pine mushrooms you're gonna eat these up look at that they kind of grow in lines remember so check out all the bumps Ding, 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 in the row. There you go. Another one. And these here, this one was up above the dirt. He gave these other two buttons away. And the cotton ring is all intact. They're number one. So there you have it. Nice mushrooms. Okay, check this out. More pines here. Nice big one. And another big one underneath here. Look at that. But guess what? So there's an indicator species that feeds on pine mushroom or matsutake uh, mycelia. So, I looked over here. So usually I find the pines first. But in the summer or spring when you go out, you can see this plant because it's pretty bright and easy to see. It's called the candy cane plant. And I think this is what this is. This is a dead one. And uh, they'll stand after they're dead for a long time because they're pretty hard. And they're, they're usually candy striped it when they're growing red and white. But that's what they look like. And they can get very tall too. These are short ones actually. 
So that's what you can look for if you see these. They look in the area for mushrooms, but as you see, I didn't have to do that. I just found these. They're sticking out pretty easily. Okay. Don't you just love when they're in beautiful little clusters like this? Right beside a beautiful waterfall? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Look at these two hiding under this log. I don't think anyone even seen these ones. They're getting pretty big already. But they look okay, so I'll pop them out. I switched spots uh, to a little bit higher elevation, and these ones are actually popped. Out. So they're a little bit earlier higher up and you see one two three and there might be more under there if I follow that line and see what leads to let's pop these ones out and get going these pine mushrooms can get really large these ones are called flags they're pretty big can take them but sometimes they get wormy <clears throat> so you can look underneath and see if they're brown then they're probably not good to take you can squeeze the stem if the stem is uh, soft and probably it's full of worms. Look at that, and there's a monster one hiding right. You can see a little tiny tip right there under that moss. Keep your eyes peeled and you'll find them. We're getting so many mushrooms here. There's a couple here. And uh, you can see a squirrel actually unburied this one. I think he chewed on it a bit, but that's okay. This is our second bucket we're working on. One broke off trying to get it out. <clears throat> That's okay. I'm just eating them so it doesn't matter. Okay, keep on looking.